Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name's Old Man Merge. Today we're going to be talking about how to get your PlayStation 5 audio into your Streamlabs or whatever streaming software you're using. As long as you're able to add an audio source, this should work for you. Uh, now I know some videos are a little hard to follow, um, but I'll do my best to be as thorough as I can. Um, if you have any questions about this or any other video that I do, feel free to leave a comment below or come by and stop by the Twitch channel and come hang out with me for a little while um, and we'll see if we can't help each other out. A couple of things that you're going to need. You're going to need two 3.5 audio cables and you're going to need this splitter. Now what you'll end up doing is, is the splitter plugs into the bottom of the PS5 controller. There are only two audios out on the PlayStation 5, the HDMI and the controller. Problem is, is you can't use both at the same time. It'll only do one or the other, which is why we're working on this fix to help you get your audio into your stream. Okay, now that you know why we're here and the things that you need, Let's get into the video. Okay, so for this scenario, this will be the only scenario that we use the splitter for. Okay, um, and you'll plug the splitter directly into the bottom of your PS5 controller. Now, you won't have a whole lot of volume control unless your headphones have an inline volume control to turn up and down, but you'll have to you'll have to sort that in your own system. So you're going to have your headphones plugged into one and then the other end plugged into one of these two outlets. Um, now, this is showing pink, green and blue. But for the most part, the little rubber seal right here around this is what's colored pink, green, and blue. Okay, so this one looks a little complicated, but it's really not. Um, the case is just there to give you a representation of the PC. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to run one line of your two audio cables that you get. You're going to run one either into the mix amp or directly into your mixer, okay? Now the blue lines represent that both of these particular mixers are USB mixers. So you can mix all of your audio in the big mixer and send one audio signal to Streamlabs and you can monitor it through your headphones here, okay? so. But the mix amp, you're probably not going to have one of those or even be able to get one anymore. Um, and it's really only good for the USB signal out of the computer. So, so you have the computer audio and then your game audio. And then this little button on the bottom is basically a fader between uh, PC and game chat. That's really all that does and you monitor this with your headphones. Okay, so this is what I classified as a simple connection. All right, so you've got the controller audio goes into one of three places. If you don't have a if you don't have the blue in, you can put it in the mic in the rear or mic in the front, either one. And then you got your audio out which goes to your headphones. Now, we'll get a little more in depth into adding sources into Streamlabs and monitoring so you can hear the game audio and everything, but we're going to get a little more deep into setting up the audio connections in a little bit. But right now, this is the other simple way to, to hook this up. Now, with that said, all three of these schematics will be, in, be linked in the description. So whichever one you decide to use, um, and we'll get it we'll get it set up so you can just 
pick and choose whichever one you would like to try. Okay, so now we're going to work on your sources, getting the information out of your PC into your Streamlabs so you can hear your game volume and monitor your stream at the same time or your alerts and everything else that you need. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to right click on the speaker icon. All right, and you're going to go and you're going to open sounds. Okay, then in sounds, you're going to come over here and you're going to go to recording. Okay, and the recording tab shows all of the inputs that you have. Okay, so th this right here is where you're going to be hooking in to see what you have. Now, I've already labeled one of my inputs that you see is not active right now is my front PC mic. Okay, then I already have the splitter in that I created in properties. Now, if you want to go in here, you can click on whichever one you want to work on and just click it. Go to, or is it properties? Click on properties. No, sorry. Right here where it says, it says change icon you can change the name to whatever you want that to be so it makes it easier for you to find it okay so now that we know what we're looking for and how to get to to the settings to find out which one we're going to use now we're going to add a source into streamlabs okay guys we're going to jump down here on the lower left hand corner on the cogwheel for settings you're going to click on that and then we're going to pull this over here where you can see it and we're going to go to audio settings now these are all your default settings for whatever you have had hooked to your computer um and you can see i've got my headphones plugged into the front of my computer and it's showing this as my my headphones so i can monitor my sources now with that said if you don't figure out which one that is it'll be hard to set up the monitoring you'll think you missed a step when you actually did okay so as you can hear we have game volume but there's no way in streamlabs to control that so it's just raw volume you can't do you can't really control it or do anything with it but as soon as you take the splitter plug it into the bottom of the ps5 controller sound goes away uh, and that's where we start working on getting the sources so we can monitor it. Okay, so we're getting set up for scenario one. The very first one um, is you plug your splitter into the bottom of your PS5 controller. One line goes to your PC, the other goes to your headphones. Now this has no monitoring. So you go to, you wanna click on um, add a source, the audio input capture look okay so I've already laid I've already labeled mine splitter so we're just gonna leave that one like that uh, you can call it anything you want add a new source and you know call it whatever you want and click add a source okay now you can you need to double click on this if you don't have any sound coming out of the splitter you need to double click on this and then this gives you all of your different audios that you can use so you got to make sure that you're clicked on the right one but we're using splitter and we have game sound coming out of the stream right now okay so now for scenario two instead of plugging your headphones into splitter you're going to take the one of the cables that you bought plug into here and this is where we use the mix amp or the mixer or whatever you're going to use. Okay, so here's the mix amp. We're going to plug this foot. Yep. And we plug our headphones into the bottom of that. And now we're able to hear game audio coming through there. PC audio coming through there. And then we can fade between each one and separate it. Okay, now we're on the very last one that we're gonna work on. Okay, this one, you take your PS5 controller, plug the cable directly into PS5 controller, directly into the PC, okay? Now, you plug your headphones into the PC on the front as well. 
Now, the reason why you do that is so you can monitor your PC and the game volume at the same time. But now, what you have to do is, is you have to be able to, you'll go over here to, well, the first thing you need to do is set your headphones down here in sounds as your as your default out so you can hear okay then you need to go over to your settings go to audio and make sure that the desktop audio both of these are set to default you can default one and disable two um but it make sure that your your first one is set to default okay and then you're going to come over here to this cog wheel all right and you're going to go down to where we we've got the splitter okay you're going to click on this and you're going to click on monitor and output all right with the monitor and output you'll be able to hear the audio coming out of out of the out of the splitter so you can hear it and the computer volume at the same time okay so now that we have everything set up to where you can monitor all of your sound and everything one interesting thing about the controller is it has a built-in mic in it and it's a really good mic people can hear you really really well um, and I've got it turned way down that way you don't have to use a headset mic into it unless you just want to but once you plug into your mixers um, it's hard to use your mic so I just leave this mic on and just do it that way okay so um, we're done with everything getting set up so if you have any questions um, like I said in the beginning you know you can message me on twitch send me a whisper or you can comment on this and uh, I'll, I'll do my best to answer your questions I hope that I was thorough enough that it was helpful um, I really do um, so that's all I can do peace